For more on Somali's politics and the election of Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud as president, I'm joined by Haroon Maruf, senior editor of VOA Somali Service. Haroon, welcome to Africa 54. My pleasure. Let's start off with the breaking news that President Joe Biden has signed an order today to deploy U.S. troops to Somalia because of the heightened security concerns and uh, threats posed by the Al-Shabaab terrorists. What is the reaction so far from Somalia? Uh, so far, we do not have an official reaction uh, from the government. We have reached out to the government. But in the past, we have known the official position position of the Somali government, which was they were very disappointed where the United States pulled out the troops and took them out of the country. That was done by the previous president, President Donald Trump, in January 2021, just before he left the power. Also, that was a setback to the security because the United States trains uh, elite Somali security force. They, have, they also conduct airstrikes against Al-Shabaab and uh, these airstrikes were scaring off Al-Shabaab from mobilizing and attacking, carrying out large-scale attacks against Somali government forces and African Union forces. And if you remember earlier this month in May, we have seen Al-Shabaab carry out a very large-scale attack against Burundian forces in the central parts of the country, killing 30 peacekeepers. Uh, some experts are suggesting if the United States uh, did not scale down the level of airstrikes against al-Shabaab, right. this kind of mobilization by al-Shabaab to carry out this kind of daring attack would not have happened. So now it's the second term uh, for President Hassan Sheikh Mohamud, and uh, definitely something has propelled him to that seat. What are some of the challenges he has to address immediately that are a, a big concern for the Somali people? Well, the main uh, clear present threat to to the stability of Somalia for many, many years has been the attacks of Al-Shabaab. He has been a president before Hassan Sheikh Mohammed from September 2012 to uh, February 2017. So these issues and the challenges that the country is facing are not new to him. The question is, does he have the plan to tackle them? Number one is the Al-Shabaab question. That what is the national security plan? How is he going to degrade their power and their influence in the countryside. And the number two is how is he going to complete the security? And number three is, is he going to provide public services to the ordinary public? Is he going to uh, hold popular direct elections in the next time around? Is he going to be able to restore collaboration and working relations with the regional states? The, the relationship between the president the federal government and the regional leaders have been very strained for a long time, and that has hampered the progress in terms of constitution, fighting with Al-Shabaab. 